Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are at uh, Zoror Subscribed in downtown San Francisco. I think it's like 1,200, 1,500. Uh, people talking about the subscription economy. They've been doing it for six years, but it really seems to be getting a little bit more critical path growth. We're excited to be here. And we've got a company you've seen on theCUBE time and time again. We're going back to their event in DC in a couple weeks. I'm happy to have Raj Bond Bondari not. Did I get it right? Well, close enough. Close enough. He is the head of corporate communications for Nutanix. Raj, great to see you. Jeff, thank you for having me. So you guys are an enterprise play, you're a cloud play. What are you doing here at Zora Subscribed? We think of you know, Spotify and all these other kind of subscription type that's of right. interactions. That's right. It's not your guys' space at all. Well, that's what you'd think at, uh, at first glance, wouldn't you? But uh, the reality is that you know, Zora uh, is a vendor, so we are a customer of Zora's. Okay. And funnily enough, what, you, what we are seeing in our market is a huge shift. Uh, it's not only about CapEx, it's also about OpEx and it's about providing a continuum of consumption models, if you will. And what Nutanix does is really try to provide all kinds of ways that customers can purchase you know, software from us. And what we are looking at Zora to do is to be the billing and monetization engine as we embark on this interesting new journey. And it takes us into new verticals like Internet of Things, uh, extending the data center from a central cloud to all the way to drones and edge computing, and that's why we're here. Oh, that's like, so it's really, like you said, it's about choice. It, it always kind of comes back to choice. People don't want to buy it, you know, the, Ford is here, they're joking about, you know, any color you want as long as it's black from back uh -huh. in the day. Uh -huh. But really, you need to offer customers choice, and there's a lot of different consumption models that you need to support. Absolutely right, and you know, this is a, an evolution for us as an industry, right? Look, our CEO said it best a couple of days ago, um, and he said, it's all about how IT is changing and is getting colored, the overhang is about the public cloud. Now, we have a lot of other larger players, as you know, in the infrastructure space, who are not changing as fast, who are not essentially giving the range of choices that you need to match with the public cloud. So what Nutanix is here saying is, look, not only are we going to give you the delivery models, right, uh, of the public cloud, we're going to give it to you with a user-friendly way of consuming this, and essentially bringing the same economics of the public cloud into the private cloud paradigm. And that's true choice. It's a choice of consumption models, it's a choice of delivery models, and it's a choice of business models. Right. We hit the trifecta. It's funny, because people often think of cloud as an example as as just a delivery mechanism. But it's really so much more than that. It's the mm -hmm. delivery mechanism that then opens up a completely different way to do business, a way to think about it, a way to consume it differently. And, and ways to purchase mm -hmm. is part of that equation. You've it got you to have it covered. It absolutely is. So, you know, we are, you know, frankly, the only independent vendor right now uh, you've seen a lot of consolidation in our space, and I don't want to enumerate that at this point, you guys know this, but what we are trying to be is to be this kind of the Switzerland for the IT infrastructure industry, and we want to give you the most amount of choices, we're going to give you the cutting edge technology, and we just want to be where customers want us to be. Right, and, and you're selling yourself short. You said they invited you guys here to be part of their digital disruptor. You've been That's doing right. nothing if you haven't been disrupting for the last couple of years. You, you said it, Jeff. <laughs> I think you know we were honored to be invited by Zora. Uh, we think very highly of a company like Zora, which not only pioneered a new space, uh, put a wonderful, memorable theme around it called subscription economy, and is able to progress and grow so well. And for us, the parallels are actually quite remarkable. We pioneered a new space in hyperconvergence. We have grown the space significantly into what we call the invisible infrastructure. And now we are at what our, our leader calls the act two phase, right? Uh, the reality is every, what he, what he said a while ago is absolutely true. Every billion is like a new zero. So we have to start over. We can rest on our laurels we got to figure out how do we continue to invest, how do you continue to innovate, we got to be in places that you least expect us, but we're all the time talking about solving higher order bits of IT. We're talking about solving what does IoT mean, what does artificial intelligence and machine learning, how do these concepts come together, how do you have a single cloud operating system that can extend from the data center to the drone, 
why should our IT customers have to worry about all of these? Why shouldn't they just be focused on what they do best, which is coming up with new pricing models, new packaging, and so on, and the infrastructure just works. Right. That's where we want to be. Right, right. Which is what the customers want. That's exactly right. So, before we let you go, give you a little plug. So, like I say, we're, the Cube is coming back to Newtonix next. I think it's, I don't even know, second or third year. We've got a European show, a US show. That's right. So for the people that don't know, give them a little plug for uh, what's happening in DC in a few weeks. Yeah, I would love to have you guys join us in uh, Washington, DC. We're having Dot Next from the June 28th through the 30th. And this is going to be the largest show that we're going to have. Last year, we were about 2,500 people. We're going to aim to double that this year. And uh, we have a terrific set of news, a terrific set of speakers. Of course, a Cube, you guys are going to be there. We're we'll looking there. forward to having all the interviews. So yeah, welcome to, uh, we would love to welcome you to uh, Washington, D.C. I'll do it personally, I'm, I'm going to be there. All right, excellent. And I give you guys a shout out for supporting Girls of Tech Catalyst. It's a show we've covered in the past. We love what uh, Adriana and the team are doing over there. So. A uh, good move by you guys, that's a, that's a good uh, community effort. Absolutely, it's, uh, it's critical to us, it's all part of our Dot Heart initiative, and uh, you know, uh, we continue to invest uh, in uh, every way we can. All right, well great to see you, Raj. Same here, Jeff, all thank right, you very much Raj, for having me. Raj, I'm Jeff, you're watching theCUBE from Zora Subscribe to San Francisco, thanks for watching.